hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel Maison african motives are still working on revisions and questions from past exam papers so in this case we are given the question which is uh, actually on forces and uh we just want to see how you're supposed to answer this question so if you're new guys you can consider subscribing so that you become part of the family Maison african motives as we'll be working with questions and revisions from past exam papers all right so i want you to cross check on question uh Three there we are given the first part on 3.1 what is meant by the term triangle of forces okay what is meant by the term triangle of forces okay uh, this definition actually i have talked about it in previous uh, classes where i referred to this uh, as a term referred to if three forces are in equilibrium then they can act then they can be represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a triangle taken in order so you're supposed to represent this in a certain order so i think this definition guys i have talked about this uh, in previous classes if you still remember anyways let's quickly rush on to another question which is actually different from the ones that we're working with previously there we are given three forces in fig b are in equilibrium and on the same plane okay so these three forces they're in equilibrium all right so what do we have and uh we are given that calculate the sum of the vertical components in terms of t and w okay so we want to calculate the sum of the vertical components in terms of t and w okay so that's vertical component okay so we know that the sum of the vertical components actually it's uh, represented by vy and uh, these ones are the ones which are actually take sign they use sine theta remember that guys okay so let's start with this one uh, t here we are going to have a vertical like this so this is your vertical okay so according to the vertical as you can see uh, this is a positive vertical so it's t sine 30 degrees okay just like that t sine 30 degrees so it's going to be t sine what am i writing now sorry for that sorry for that so it's supposed to be t sine 30 degrees like that all right then we move on to another this one this one it's a straight horizontal so it's not a vertical this one it's a straight horizontal so which means a as a vertical it's a zero this one so there's nothing that you're going to take here all right then we move to this one we have a vertical here that's a vertical which is now below this axis here so it's below this line and it's a negative when it is below like that so this is a negative all right so it's w sine 35 but with a negative so that's gonna be minus w sine 35 degrees with a negative like that okay so that is what you have and these are in equilibrium which means the vertical component that we have is supposed to be equal to zero so this is supposed to be equal to to zero like that okay so you can uh, use your calculator sign that from your calculator that is 0, 0,5 which is half half is 0, 0,5 so it's going to be 0, 0,5 t minus sine 35 okay sine 35 from your calculator if you round off it's going to be something like 0, 0,5736 okay so this is what i got here uh w like this which is equal to zero okay so i'm just going to leave this like this uh which is on uh that is 3.21 take note this is 3.21 so i'm just going to leave this like that and move on to three 0.22 which is now uh, the sum of what of the horizontal components now so this time we are going to apply in terms of what in terms of cos theta because this is horizontal so hx also is equal to zero but this one is in terms of what cos theta all right so let's take our horizontal so if you are to cross check t here the horizontal of t is this one and it's uh, from this part on the it's on the right side so it's a positive okay it's on the right side and this one on the left side it's a negative okay so it's going to be t cos 30 and it's a positive so it's t 
cos 30 degrees all right we move on to this one we say it is a horizontal yes we remember i talked about this but if you are to cross check it's on the left side and on the left side it's a negative so it's negative 150 so that one is negative 150 okay there's no need for you to write it's a straight horizontal no need for you to write cos 180 or cos no, there's no need okay then the w this is the horizontal of w as you can see w is having a horizontal which is a positive also because it's the same it's the same line as the t so it's a positive so it's going to be w cos 35 which is a positive okay so it's plus this one w cos 35 remember uh, we are representing a horizontal which is cos which is equal to zero like that okay so just like what we did we are going to find the value of uh, i want you to find the value of cos 30 so cos 30 from your calculator is 0 0,8660 t then times t okay minus 150 cos 35 cos 35 from your calculator is going to give you 0 0,8 so it's plus 0 0,81 Nine two. This is what I obtained times W, which is equal to zero like this. So I just like um, you can leave it like that. Uh, it's an equation uh, that you can have, or you can transpose this minus one fifth to the other side, or you can actually leave it like that. It's still one and the same thing. All right. So another question is now calculate uh, calculate the magnitude of T and W. Okay, so we need the values of t and w so these are now simultaneous equations that we are having if you are to cross check guys we have got this first equation okay so let's just write this is 3.23 we have the first equation okay i'm going to rewrite as it is 0 0.5 t minus 0 0.3 uh, is 5736 w which is equal to zero like this so i can take advantage of this equation and make t the subject okay so let's make t the subject from this equation 0 0.5 t is equal to transpose to is going to be 0 0.5736 w a positive from your mathematics guys remember substitution method divide by 0 0.5 divide by 0 0.5 so t is going to be if you divide these two uh, values there, you're going to obtain 1, 1, 1472 W like this. Okay, so you can just refer this as another equation. Okay. This will be equation 3. Okay, since equation 2 is already there, this is, our equation 2 is from this one. So that's why I'm writing 3 because here we've got our equation 2. So what you're going to do now is to substitute this T which is 1 comma uh, 147 2 w into this equation in place of t okay so let's substitute together we are going to obtain something like this this is 0 comma 8660 t so it's going to be 0 comma 8660 multiply by t which is this t in terms of w which is 1 comma 1472 w like this all right minus 150 we are going to take this to this side so that it becomes a positive so you're going to be left with this 0 0.81 plus 0 0.8192 w like this which is equal to 150 take note it was min minus 150 now it's a positive 150 all right so that's where we are now let's find our w guys let's play our mathematical skills here uh, this is going to give us something like uh, 0, 0,9 if you multiply these two, which is 99347, something like that, W, plus 0, 0,8192W, which is equal to 150. Okay, add these two together from your calculator, it's going to be 1,81267, something W there, which is going to be 150. Okay, then you divide by one comma so your w is going to be so it's 150 like this supposed to be 150 over 
1,8126 from your calculator. Okay, you're going to obtain 82,751 newtons there. So remember, this is a force that you're talking about. So guys, take note, it can be 80 as long the you have got 82, something there, 75 something. Yeah, uh, you can you can find it as 85, 82,752. And it depends with the degree of accuracy, like when you are rounding off, it affects that. So do not worry about that, okay? Something that you're not supposed to worry about. Okay, so this is W, but we need to find W and uh, T. So where are we going to find T? So remember, on equation 3, we made T to be the subject here. And we said T is equal to 1,1472 times W times w and we got our w here which is 82,751 so you can just multiply these two okay so if you multiply these two you're going to obtain 94,561 newtons like this okay so this is the value of t so as we can see guys we managed to use the information that we were given the information that we're given to find or to calculate uh, the magnitude of what of t or the values of t and what and w there all right then on 3.3 we are now given uh, if you're given the trust and we are asked to calculate the magnitude of the supports which is l and r okay um if you are to cross check here we can actually apply our moments because uh, this force here is applied and as you can see this is a nuclear triangle so it's going to divide the distance here seven it's going to be divided into three comma five and three comma five uh, this seven also is going to be divided into three comma five and three comma five into two seven divided by three by two three comma five three comma five okay so you can actually apply the the moments here uh, because this can be represented like this in actual sense it was supposed to be like this where you've got uh, a support here which is l then it's there is a force which is going to be 10 kilonewtons like this this is what you get guys uh, this one is simple guys so something like this there's a distance here 3,5 3,5 in between uh, to make a distance of 7, okay? Then here, 30 is the same, divides into 2, 30. It divides into 2 like this. This is 30 kilonewton. It divides into 2 again, 3,5 and another 3,5. So we've got 3,5, 3,5 like this. And there's a support here, which is R, okay? And the difference between here is what is 7. So, as you can see, it's something that you can apply. So, we know that we can actually apply the concept of uh, anti-clockwise moments, the sum of the anti-clockwise uh, moments being equal to the sum of the clockwise moments. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to take moments about L. Okay, moments about L. All right, so moments about L. Uh, if I take this L, this is R, this way R is going in this direction, which is in anti-clockwise. So it's 14, the distance between there is 14, so it's 14 times R, which is equal to the clockwise. This 10 is going clockwise, but there's a distance of 10, 3,5, so it's 10 and 3,5 in, in clockwise, okay? So it's 10 times 3,5, okay? What else do we have plus this 30? 30 is also in clockwise, so it's 30 times the distance, force times distance. So take note, this is 7 plus 3,5. So 7 plus 3,5 is 10,5 if you add pro properly there. All right, so you are going to have 14 R, which is equal to combine this. It's going to be 35 plus combine this. You're going to have 315. So 14R is equal to add this, you're going to obtain 350, okay? So divide by 14, by 14, R is going to be 
25 not 35 is 25 kilonewtons like this okay so once you obtain r uh, so that is 25 kilonewton like that i hope it's clear now all right so once you obtain r you can actually obtain l by taking the forces now we know that uh, the sum of the upward forces is equal to the sum of the what the downward forces okay so the upward forces it's l and r so l plus r these are the ones which are going up so l plus r which is your r is 25 should give us the ones which are going downwards the sum of these ones going downwards is 10 and 30 so it's 10 plus 30 okay so l plus 25 is equal to 10 plus 30 that is 40 so l is equal to you transpose 25 to this side is going to be 40 minus 25 which is 15 so this is 15 kilonewton so therefore l is 15 kilonewton r is 25 kilonewtons okay so that is the idea there that is how you actually take these you can actually take them from the diagram when you are used to this diagram uh, you can actually take them direct from the diagram because you just see that okay this is 10 this is 3,5 this is 7 and 3,5 so you can actually take direct from the diagram okay determine the magnitude and nature of force a b okay so we want the magnitude and nature of this force a b okay so remember when you are given a force a b like that you are going to it's going to be i'm going to take from this support l and only this part here from the support l like this something like this okay there's an angle of 60 degrees here and this is our support l and we know that our l we obtain this as 15 so we've got 15 kilo newtons here and this is our a and this is our b okay so the magnitude of uh, a b we are going to let's apply the vertical forces f up is equal to f down so if f, f up is equal to f down uh, this is your f up which is 15 the one that is going upwards so 15 is equal to f down which is the one that is taken from a b so it's going to be a b sine 60 degrees okay remember guys f down if it is horizontal it's cos down it's sine vertical down vertical 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 sign horizontal course vertical sign that's how you can memorize this okay so you want to find a b so you're going to divide by sine 60 degrees by sine 60 degrees okay so let's divide so a b is going to be 15 over sine 60 from your calculator is going to be 17 comma 3 to one kilonewtons so take note these are kilonewtons so it's going to be kilonewtons so that is how you determine this and uh, what is the what is what what are we having there the nature okay so you know that a b this one is a strut okay so that is the nature now so when they need the nature the nature of a b it's a strut if it was uh, okay so it's not another part but if it was like you're talking of b and maybe there was a c there it was going to be a truss okay but this one is a strut so that's how they ask these questions guys as you can see this is actually a total of 16 marks from this question so that's it not to miss uh, these classes make sure you become part of the family by subscribing to maison african motives uh, so that's it guys till we meet again